Welcome back to I Know Football. My video today, as you guys probably read the title, is going to be all my cleats uh, that I have for this season, last season, and some that I've just kept over the years. I was thinking about shooting a top five cleat video just like I did last year. I'm doing that uh, for 2017. And so while I was doing that, I had all my cleats out. And uh, you guys always ask me to show you all of my football gear. You guys love those videos that I've done for the past couple years. So I'm not doing that, but I will do a video on all my cleats. Probably do one on gloves soon too uh, before I do the top five video. So I'm inviting you into my home right now, uh, showing you all the cleats I have laid out. Uh, we're in the bedroom just because it's an easy place where I can put everything out um, and show you guys like really quick. Uh, we're going to start with my wall just because if you look at the wall, um, this is what I've done with some cleats. Uh, some of my favorites over the years, um, if you guys recognize these, I obviously only have one pair or one half of each pair of cleat, uh, but there's just some of the classics. So the Vapor Talons from what, 2012 maybe? Uh, these are some of the Ada Zero uh, 4.0s um, and 5.0s in different colors. Obviously the Nike Vapor uh, Untouchables, the originals. Uh, this is the Super Bowl edition that they came out with. You can see you know, how it shines. Some of the uncaged cleats from Adidas and some of my custom uh, Nike Vapor Town Elite 2014s that I used for Team USA uh, when I was traveling around a bit. If you guys remember the ICAF diary videos, uh, you know that you know you would have seen that cleat in there. You would have seen how it's customized, what was written on the inside. And then another, and then another classic cleat. These are the Super Speed TDs from Nike. So they are made with leather, and uh, players still love those to this day. Sometimes you still see them on the field. So then I don't have the full set of those cleats, obviously can't wear them. So we're going to get to the ones that I actually can wear. Starting with these cleats here. These are going to be the Nike Field Generals. Sorry about the lighting here, but you see that they're in a camel colorway. You probably saw me unbox these or review them. Uh, but the Nike Field Generals Elite cleats. These ones have the inner booty. Uh, inside uh, to really give you that secure lockdown fit. This is an alpha cleat as well, so the Alpha Field Generals, uh, meaning that they have a little bit additional support in the uh, heel of the cleat in terms of a cushioning perspective. And then it's got the kind of rounded conical studs, but still has uh, triangular studs at the uh, very top of the rounded to give you, to help you with some of that agility. We're gonna go right back and forth down the line. Um, you guys know these as the UA Spotlights in gold. I've got the UA Highlights Lux also in gold. Um, you probably saw some of that review as well. Then I've got three colors of the Vapor Untouchable Pro. So these are the ones from 2016 uh, that have a little bit of a different material in the upper. Uh, they're in that blue and orange. And then I've got the new version 2017 in the white and the black colorway. So love it because it's like the white swoosh on the white cleat, the black swoosh on the black cleat kind of gives it a nice cool look. So we got six cleats down. Now moving to more cleats in my bedroom. Uh, we've got the Alpha Menace Elite cleats in two colorways. Uh, got this uh, kind of Oregon colorway and then uh, I like this colorway because it's black. Uh, with the kind of the crimson maroon um, but it's it shines so it's got the splatter at the bottom um, and I kind of like that look so I'll pick up another set which is a little different from these ones they don't have the splatter at the bottom then I've got the Alpha Menace Pro cleat so use a different upper it doesn't have that fly material in the upper so it's not as flexible um, and form fitting as, as a cleat was still a great cleat the Ad Zero 6.0 dip cleats, I love them in blue. I should have got them in red, because obviously you guys know my favorite color is red. But I got them in blue to match my team colors. Um, those look dope on the lights. I just saw the Instagram post uh, as well. Uh, then I have a couple of these. These are the Ultra Boost cleats. Got them in black, have them in white, and have them in silver. Uh, that came as part of the silver pack. These are my gold at a zero 5.0 cleats, uh, gold and white. I had them in gold and blue, uh, but gave them to my cousin. Um, he needed a pair of cleats. So obviously these cleats, I've, I've given uh, some away to charity, given away to some players who need them. 
Uh, now, these cleats I don't wear too much, obviously. These are the Force, the Zoom Force Savage Elite cleats. Um, no, I, I've tested them out, reviewed them. A lot of footballs reviewed them. Um, um, I wear them sometimes. Uh, just, you know, if I'm standing around or coaching, uh, just, you know, uh, have them in my cleat lineup. I've got the C1 and mid cleats. These are surprisingly, uh, for like an $80 cleat, a really good basic cleat. So definitely check out that review if you haven't. Now we're going to take it back to 2014. Uh, these are still some of my favorite cleats of all time. Uh, the Vapor Carbon uh, Elite 2014 cleats. Uh, so I've got them in green and white. These are kind of the New York Jet colorway. And then I also have them in this custom color. If you follow my Instagram, you'll know that I customized these. I uh, painted them. They used to be black and maroon. Changed it to a navy because I used them with uh, a team that I was playing with earlier this season. Uh, my last two pairs of football shoes that I've got, um, you're looking at the Lunar Beast cleats. Um, I tested these out. I don't think I've ever done a review on them, so I still have them. Um, but they are solid cleats as well. They're a little bit wide, so if you've got a wide foot, they're going to be good for that. And then I really like these. So if you play football indoors or you train indoors and you play on that really that soccer turf, these are the Vapor Speed turf cleats. So they're perfect for the so soccer turf. They're not for you know regular football turf, uh, but that soccer turf that's really really short where cleats don't dig in, where you know your regular sneakers aren't going to work. This is going to be perfect for you. So that's it. Nice short sweet video. That was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 pairs of cleats at least that I found right now. Sometimes I'll walk around and I'll find like more cleats in hidden places. Uh, but that's it. So I will have a top five cleat, at least of the ones that I reviewed this season. Ambulances. That's what you get living in this city. Ambulances all the time. Uh, I will review um and give you the top five cleat list and uh look forward to the glove video that i'll have coming out soon too show you guys all the gloves that i have uh hidden around here somewhere thanks if you like this video definitely check out my other videos uh in my playlist like subscribe share and uh, i will see you guys next time <laughs>